I was working at the Golf Channel uh, five years and um, wanted to change the scenery. I got a call from HR from EA Sports. I thought, it was, I thought somebody was joking with me. So I w came in for an interview and I had no idea that they had a video production company within this building. I thought it was a gaming company. I came in and it was a bunch of production guys, just, you know, just like uh, anybody else I've been working with uh, for my whole career. And uh, they were just really cool. And Scott Mosteller, who is uh, just the coolest guy on the planet, he gave me a shot. He said, your, your reel is excellent. I love your work. He said, but can you tell a story? I said, well, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Send me some footage, send me a slice of music and I'll put together a video for you. And if, if you like it, you know, we'll go from there. He was impressed with the initiative. So uh, I got the job. And this is the best gig I've ever had. It's EA Sports, you know, when you say EA Sports on the street, somebody two blocks away goes, it's in the game. My first game experience here was doing the tournament challenge menus in, in Tiger 10. If you were playing a tournament challenge of say Pebble Beach, Tiger would pop up in this magic little Star Trek thing, you know, that I did. He would come up and then he would talk about his experience on that hole that you're about to play. And the live action footage of him playing that hole and hitting like a putt and doing a fist bump, everything was within the menu. The night before we were sending the game to Final Master, we found out that Tiger's caddy wasn't licensed. So I had to go into every one of those menu videos and composite out the caddy. And you can't just pull a caddy out of the middle of the green. You know, Tiger's hitting and the caddy's standing next to him. Caddy's got to go, Tiger's got to stay. 18 videos. You want to talk about out of the frying pan into the fire. This was my first real game experience. We play Tiger all the time. I mean, you know, on the Wii, I'm not a big thumb gamer. I like to get involved in the actual physicality of the games. It was so cool to play that game and with every swing knowing that my name was in the credits, uh, is just phenomenal. It, it all comes down to my family. It's where all my strength comes from. It's where all my inspiration comes from. It's the reason I do what I do. Their pride in what I do is bigger than me feeling that, hey, you know, I'm all over the world. Every once in a while, Cameron launches the game just to look at my name in the credits. He doesn't even play the game. Constantly tells me, you're famous. <laughs> it's so cool. I can't, I can't tell you, it's just so cool.